In this video, I go through the top five German tanks, which I would use for rank two. So the first tank on the list here at number five is the Dicker Max. And why is the Dicker Max so relevant to me? Well, I'll tell you exactly why. It's got a phenomenal cannon, 105 millimeter K18 cannon. And yes, it packs a punch and can penetrate pretty much any single tank in the relevant battle rating or rank. side though of this tank though is its mobility it's not really fast uh it struggles to traverse across the terrains so this is one that you kind of want to sit back have a bit of crumpets and tea and wait for the opponent to come into sight that is the best way to play this tank well in fact tank destroyer so coming in at number four for me is the sturmgeschutz 3 alfs g or the stug 3g as some of you may know it why do I choose this tank? Simple. It's quicker than the Dikamax. It's another tank destroyer. And thirdly, it's got a really good low profile. from the Stug is unfortunately its cannon is only 75 millimeter but that's okay because if you take your time and you sit back and you snipe with it or you get yourself into position if you take the precise shot you will get the kill with it but one thing though to note is that when you go up against tougher opponents like the kv1 it can be a little bit difficult to try and penetrate that armor so best thing to do is get yourself into the right position like you would with the dicker max Now coming in at number three, this is a favorite of mine, not for any particular reason, but the fact that it's got the best kill death ratio on my record. And that is the Panzer IV G. It's a really, really great tank. It traverses pretty quick across the plains. It's got a really good cannon as well. And in all honesty, it's a pretty good all round tank.
but let me also explain to you how to play this tank do not just go barging in you're not driving a extremely heavy tank or a, a tiger or anything of that sort of nature this tank is smaller and can be penetrated pretty quickly so the way to play it is to just kind of wait for your angles once you get the right angle on the opponent take the shot the gun will not let you down that's the great thing about the panzer 4g i love this tank but the next one is uh let's just say an upgraded version so coming in at number two we have the panzer 4h now the panzer 4h has got an upgraded cannon compared to the g it has side skirt armor and of course the frontal armor as well to play this tank is very similar to that of the g remember you are pretty strong when it, when it uh, when it goes into the battlefield but you're not a heavy tank do not expect to bounce every single bullet that or every single shell that comes your way be a little nimble work your angles and kind of wait for someone to come into your line of fire instead of you going into theirs if you do that this tank will definitely prove to be extremely useful for you in the grind at number one it might be a bit of a surprise to you all is my favorite the puma why you may ask it's not extremely effective in terms of uh, firepower but that's fine because it's not there for the firepower this is pure mobility it's a tin can that runs around that's got a bit of a gun on it can take down some opponents the harassment element of this vehicle is just top notch for me why because i can drive around i can spot uh that's the greatest thing about this vehicle and also from time to time you can also get a frag or two So there we have it ladies and gentlemen it is the top five tanks i would choose for rank two for germany in war thunder at number five 
Like I said, it was the Dicker Max with the 105mm cannon, but the ability to traverse across planes is extremely difficult, so it will sit back and kind of do the sniping for me. And number four, the Stug 3G, the Stug 3G, sorry. This one, obviously a great tank destroyer. It's pretty quick on the planes, and it'll get you from A to B and get you those frags necessary because it's got a pretty good uh, cannon. Now, looking at the first variant of the Panzer IVs, which is uh, the high-velocity variant, not the first one, but the second one, the Panzer IV G, this is a really, really iconic one for me. Really cool tank. It'll get you from A to B. It'll get you the frags that you need to get further down the tech tree uh, and get you that additional research points. Lastly, well, sorry, and second is the Panzer IV H. Now, the Panzer IV H is a little bit different. This one has got a bigger cannon on it, of course, or more modern cannon, but it's also got a lot of armor and side skirts and side plating, etc. It is a must-have when it comes to your lineup. It comes in at 3.7. It's a little bit more effective than the Panzer IV G. That's why I put it in at number two. I didn't go for the J option because I wanted something a little bit different for number one, which, of course, is the Puma this one is the harassment case of all tanks like you are going to harass all of your opponents and they are going to be fed up with you and they're probably going to rage quit but that's fine that is what your purpose is in this tank maybe to take it an extra kill or two and if you're really good at it you can actually get a quite a number of kills of course you're here to capture points you're here to spot the enemy you're here to make life difficult for them anyway these are my top five tanks i would use under the german rank 2 lineup and uh, they've served me very well definitely but you know speaking of comparisons i did a tank race recently between three nations if you want to check out this video to see what that was all about and who actually won